Hey, it's Arit here with Esatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to easily create your own fillable checkbox fields, including how to change the type of checkbox. So as you can see here, it doesn't just have to be a check mark. If you wanted, you could have an X, a star, a circle, a diamond, or a square. So let me show you how to do this. I'm using the Adobe Acrobat Pro DC software, and if you're not familiar with it or you wanna get it, I'll include a link down in the description below. So I've opened up my PDF here in the software, and this is one of, this is actually a report card. It's one of the many hundreds of forms that I've designed for my clients here. And he wanted each of these boxes here to be a checkbox. So what you first need to do is after opening up your PDF, go to where you see this wrench here on the side where it says more tools. So click on that icon there. And then what you wanna do is click on prepare form. So once you click on that, it's going to put it into fillable field mode. And you can hover over to this little icon here. It's a box with a check mark on it. When you click on that, and then just drag your cursor over. It's going to, it's almost like you're holding that checkbox. In order to place it, you just need to kind of align the corner with one of your checkboxes and then click. So it's gonna place it there and you can use the, the sides here to adjust it accordingly into your, your box, the size of your box. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see better here. And I typically like to zoom in so I can see better how to resize it for the field. The next thing you wanna do is double click on the box. Now it's gonna open up a properties box here and you wanna give it a name. Uh, let's just say check box demo, all right? And it doesn't matter what you name it as long as if you're creating multiple check boxes, they don't have the same name because if they all have the same name, it's going to duplicate when someone check box or checks one box, it's going to check all of the others because it has the same value. So I'll show you in a second what that means, but essentially you just need to give it a name. You can customize the appearance of what that looks like, the box looks like here. So right now it has a black border and a white fill inside. If you wanted to create something like what I showed you in the beginning of this video with no border, nothing in, you know, no fillable color, just very clean because you already have something behind it, then you just need to click here and select no color, no color, and then it'll turn it transparent. You can also head over to options and this is where you can change what type of checkbox it is. So when you drop this menu here, you can choose from all of these different options. I'll just keep it at a check mark for now. And then when I hit close and then the preview button up here, make sure it works. So you can click in there and make sure your check mark works. Now, if you'll be creating multiple check boxes, let me go back and explain what I had mentioned earlier. I'm gonna hit this edit button on the top right corner which will take it back into the fillable mode. And what you wanna do is you can right click on this, select copy, and then right click again over here and select paste. So now you have another checkbox that you can move into place or resize accordingly. But as you can see here, they have the same name. So when I hit the preview button, when I check one box, it's going to duplicate that value in the other box. So definitely, I'm gonna go back here, edit. Definitely make sure you change the name. I'll just go demo two so that when you go back to preview it, it won't duplicate it. So you can see I'll check more one and it doesn't do the same thing for the other. And that's it. If you need some extra help, you want me to design the form for you or make it fillable, I'll put my email address in the description below. Feel free to email me and I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.